Hi everybody, I'm Ryan from Nerds on Call, and today we're gonna to be talking about what to do before you call tech support. So one of the first things you wanna do is turn off the device, whether it be a computer, a phone, or a tablet. Turn it off, get it all the way powered down first, and then restart it. See if the error or the problem still exists. The next thing you wanna do is check the cables. If it's a computer, like your monitor suddenly turns off, or for some reason a USB device is no longer working, just go into the back of the machine, make sure everything's still plugged in, make sure they're nice and tight. One little error every now and then isn't that big of a deal, but it's when those consistent errors keep coming up, that tells you something's wrong. So if you get an, an Outlook error, or if your hard drive suddenly gives you some kind of beep or noise, you wanna see what you can do to try to get that to happen again. That way, when you hire a professional to come out and look at it, you can tell them exactly what's happening. Figure out what the error code is and type that into Google. Oftentimes, you'll be able to figure out really quickly what the problem is, whether it be hardware or software, like for example, if Photoshop just crashed and you got a blue screen, then maybe you just have to reinstall Photoshop and not have to hire a professional to fix it for you. Last but not least, the number one true and tried product that everybody needs to do before they call a repair guy is run your antivirus and anti-spyware. Most problems these days on computers comes from something like that. But keep in mind, viruses are not just on computers anymore. You can get them on your phones, on your tablets, on almost anything that's connected to the internet. So run your antivirus software before hiring a professional to come out and fix your stuff.